It's been four years since I had the opportunity to interview our guest today. She had just won her seat, her first election actually, as a city council for the city of Oakland. We were so excited because she actually graduated from Oakland Public Schools, Skyline High School. We're excited now, even more so, because now she was newly elected to mayor of her hometown city, Oakland, California, which is one of the largest cities in Northern California. She's actually the second woman to win this seat. And we're here with OUSD alumni, Libby Schaff, now Mayor Schaff of the city of Oakland. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Shonda. It's a pleasure to be back. Oh, I'm so happy to have you. I was so excited. Your whole, for me, I'm Oakland native too. And just to have someone born in the city and now become the mayor of the city is just a great, great story, especially in these times. Most cities have people who come from other places and then they become the mayor. But the roots in the, the history and all of that gets kind of taken away. So it's nice to have a story where you're an Oakland native and now you're going to be the mayor of our city. So congratulations. Thank you. How is it feeling? What do you feel? It feels great. And it was interesting you know, during the campaign to see how much that meant to people that I was made in Oakland. That was our campaign slogan. And people are not only excited about bringing that history and that roots, but an appreciation of where our future lies. And that is a great future that we have ahead of us. So when you were a student at Oakland schools, did you aspire to be mayor? I know when you came on the show before, you told us that a government class actually influenced you for to want to go into politics later on in life at, at Skyline High School. But when did you decide you wanted to be mayor of the city? You know, it, it's not something that really has been on my list of things to do. I've just always had a passion for my city. I've always known that I wanted to work to improve my city. And for many years, I did that as a volunteer. And it wasn't until uh, 1995 that I left kind of a corporate career to take a career in public service actually running the volunteer program for the Oakland Public Schools. Yeah. But that, that is, you know, how life is. You know, when you follow your passion and your values, uh, you end up in interesting places, like Absolutely. being the mayor of the city. Yeah. So did you decide while you were a city council member, like early on that you might want to be mayor, or did that kind of was an evolution that um, was like an epiphany that you came, that you, you could see yourself in this role, and then I'm just going to go for it? Because it's, it's remarkable that you saw that and you just went for it. Um, you know, it was uh, more of an epiphany. Uh, you know, when you're a city council member, a lot of people encourage you to run for mayor or to seek higher office. That is something that just comes with the territory. Uh, but there was a particular moment in time where it became clear that the current mayor was very unlikely to be reelected. And as somebody who, you know, has the history of the city, has the experience and knowledge and know-how, um, I felt like it was good for the city to have a choice for mayor that brought both that love, that passion, but also some serious knowledge. Now, I like the Made in Oakland campaign. That That is excellent because uh, not only are you made in Oakland, but everything that you wear is made in <laughs> Oakland. So it's a good marketing for the mayor of the city to only shop in Oakland and to reinvest in the community. That's a great um example to set for our community. So just talk about how, how did that Made in Oakland campaign evolve? Well, first of all, let me give credit where credit is due, and that is my fabulous campaign manager, Miss Peggy Moore, Ooh, who came Peggy. up with that slogan. Wow. And the idea was it really did capture not just my roots as being an Oakland native, but my excitement, my passion about telling Oakland's story, about lifting up that Made in Oakland brand and selling it, not just to the rest of the world, but sometimes we ourselves need to have a little more pride Absolutely. and appreciation for our own city. And we um, are a city of makers. We've always been a blue collar town, a town of artists and a lot of creative talent and a town of social movements. So a lot of things get made in Oakland. That's so true. let's appreciate that. And then let's look towards the future of all the great things that are going to be made in Oakland. Now, with you being uh, a graduate of Oakland Public Schools, yeah. Now you're the city's mayor. How are you going to work with the uh, school district? Because it's, they work, you work hand in hand, but you're two different entities. But you have a special kind of affinity to the district because you graduated from Oakland Public Schools. I do. And uh, to me, you know, the mayor has many responsibilities. And technically, schools are not one of them. But no one should call themselves a leader without being deeply involved 
in making sure that our youth are adequately prepared for successful futures. And there is no more important way to do that than by supporting our fabulous new superintendent of schools, Mr. Antoine Wilson. Yes. I'm very excited about his leadership, and I intend to put a lot of the political capital of the mayor's office into supporting his mission to really improve our public schools. And it's not just that I'm a graduate, Skyline Class of 83, go Titans, right. <laughs> but I am a parent of right. two young That's Oakland true. Public School students. Uh, I have a first grader and a third grader. And I want them to continue to thrive in this school system. And I want every child. Um, we have some unacceptable statistics right now in this city. And it is my absolute moral obligation to do everything I can to change those. That's good. Yeah. Um, Superintendent Wilson, the whole message for the district now is that every student thrives. Yep. And that is a good mission for us to have. And that's what we need to thrive for. Strive for is to have every student thrive in Oakland. That's our commitment. That's my commitment just as an Oakland native and resident as well. And as a parent, just because we have to do better with our students. And I know you had a lot of students on your campaign. That is wonderful. Just getting our students engaged early, I think is the answer for them to be engaged later on in life. Absolutely, never underestimate the power and talent of young people. And uh, I really think that was one of the secret weapons to are winning this campaign. We had 60 student interns, wow. mostly OUSD students. Yeah. We had a few college students in there that really were the fire and fuel for our successful campaign. Many of them not old enough to vote themselves, but knew that they had the power to influence an election, and they did. You know, that is the winning secret. That is the winning <laughs> is. secret. You're right. That's a good strategy to have. That's what to help the president win is that whole strategy yeah. of having the youth engage in that momentum. So congratulations. So speaking of our youth, before you leave, you have to give some wisdom for our youth today because now you've gone from the classroom to city hall to the highest level elected position in the city where you grew up and were born. So tell us what kind of words of wisdom would you give our students today so they can aspire to fulfill their dreams, be it mayor or whatever they would like to be? Well. Young people of Oakland, uh, I expect a lot out of you. I have high expectations for you to work hard, and it will be hard, but following your dreams is worth it. Being the mayor of Oakland was not just about giving a great campaign speech or you know having the best strategy. It was coming to the office, having done a lifetime of work in my community. And so whatever your passion is, get going on it now. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. Always a pleasure. Anytime. So we have the first interview. Yay. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. We are here with the new mayor of the city of Oakland, who is also a graduate of Skyline High School, Mayor Libby Schaff. Congratulations once again. Who is an Oakland Unified School District alumni where every student thrives. Thank you for joining us.